he just bang bang plays. At the end of the day, you know, I made too many mistake too many mistakes to win the game, and we just didn't make enough plays. So, you know, whether that call goes our way or not, a lot of calls are going to go uh, a lot of different ways throughout the game. And then, you know, I made miss two miss AJ on a deep ball, miss John on a deep ball, and then through the interception, that that just can't happen. When you when you were driving the football team with no timeouts, I mean, you took your final timeout at the 6:22 mark of the football game. I mean, your teammates are saying your poise and confidence in the huddle was just like they expected. Did you feel like you're going to go down and win this football game? Was that was that in your mind the whole time? Yeah, you know, we weren't playing very well on offense, but we started to to get a little rhythm there in the two minute drill, and you know, I felt like we were going to go down and win the game. And if we didn't win, we were going to um, score some points and go into overtime. But, you know, things didn't fall our way. Like I said, we just made too many mistakes. Joe, I know you would like to have a couple plays back that overthrow to A.J. Green and the shovel pass that led to an interception. How would you assess your individual performance today without looking at film? D. Like you D. said, I can't. Yeah, D. I can't. I mean, I can't miss – that one to AJ, that's, you know, a high schooler can make that throw. And then I can't throw the ball right to Melvin Ingram and, and give them the ball back when we're in scoring range. So um, a tough way to lose. Did you see Ingram? I mean, he was rushing and then he peeled off on the screen. Did you even see him when you when you shoveled it? Yeah, I saw him. Um, it was just a bad shovel. Yeah. You were getting knocked around pretty you were getting knocked around pretty good in the first half. You guys seemed to make adjustments in the second half that kind of Fended them off a little bit, fended off their pass rush. What'd you do? Our all line really stepped up. Um, in that second half, they played really, really well and, and gave me time back there and gave Joe some running lanes. Um, so I was really happy with the way with the way that they bounced back in the second half. Zach said you audibled on that touchdown run. Uh, what did you see? And uh, how, did, how did it feel to score your first touchdown on the pros? No, I felt good at the time. It uh, doesn't matter now, but... Um, you know, they we were an empty and they played. They didn't put anybody in the box, so we just went to quarterback draw, ended up scoring, but I'm not I'm not too worried about that. Uh, that last drive at the end of the game was your longest drive of the game. Were you guys doing well on that drive to get in position where you were close to winning? You know, we just got them on their heels a little bit, and, you know, we got in a good rhythm. I got in a good rhythm with my guys, kind of the first rhythm I felt all day, and, um, we started to move the ball pretty well. Unfortunately, that was too little too late. You mentioned that last drive. You're on a roll. You lead the team down to the three-yard line. You get that unfortunate offensive pass interference call. When you see the field goal unit come on in that situation with seven seconds left, what goes in? What goes through your mind? Um, well, I'm obviously upset we didn't score a touchdown. Um, I thought we you know, played well enough on that particular drive to, to put it in the end zone. And then they made the call. and um, I'm not sure what happened on the kick, but it doesn't matter what happened on the kick. We should have put them away a lot, bef a lot of times before that. I should have, you know, like I said, made the throw to AJ and not throwing the interception. So, you know, a lot of different plays affected the game. Do you wish you had gotten a chance to go back out there and possibly make a play at the end of the game there? Yeah. Um, you mean know, on fourth down or overtime? Fourth down. Oh, no, I think, you know, I think we got to kick that with – what, six seconds left? You know, that's not enough time to get a, to get a playoff, really. So we got to kick that one. Strange your conversations like on the sideline with Pitch. I mean, first time you guys went through a game together, you and Pitch and Zach, how did those – and did, did you gain stuff? Did you see yourself gaining stuff from those conversations later in the game? Yeah, you know, it was, it was good on the sideline. You know, we were, you know, struggling a little bit, so everyone was a little frustrated. But, um, you know, they were positive conversations and – you know, there was never any negativity. Football is a strange game. I think the odds makers would have lost a lot of money if they laid odds on your first touchdown would be a 20 plus yard quarterback draw and your first interception would be a shovel pass. It was kind of a weird game, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, a lot of different football is played a lot of different ways. And, um, you know, there's a lot of different ways to make plays. And you know, we just didn't make enough of them today. Bill, you said you wanted to get hit. You got hit a lot today, especially in the first half. How difficult is that Chargers pass rush? I mean, Joey and, and Melvin are, like I said before, are two of the best in 
in the world at what they do. And that's why they get paid a lot of money to sat guys like me. And they, you know, they lived up to it today. Did, did Joey say anything? I know y'all were pretty close. Did Joey say anything to you on the field uh, after any of those plays or after he put you down? And we talked after the game and, you know, just like old Joey. So it was, it was, it was fun to play against him for sure. Um, not a very fun ending though. Mason, are you uh, that this team in just a few days could bounce back with kind of what you saw in your first game and what you guys can learn from? You know, I'm confident in, in our guys, always have been. And, you know, we have no choice. We play in four days, so we're going to have to get healthy, um, get our bodies right, and get ready to go. You made sure you get the ball. I, I know it probably doesn't mean anything now, but you get any, uh, you know what you're going to do with it? No, I'm not really thinking about that right now. Uh, Probably give it to my mom or something. Did you feel the impact of all of not having a preseason? No, I don't think so. You know, that's kind of what I'm used to. You know, college, there's no preseason. You just have scrimmages. So I don't really know what a preseason looks like. Um, yeah. Joe, when the final timeout was taken at 622 left in the football game, I guess, were there some communication scenarios that became difficult? Was that obviously – in a game like that, a tight football game, you'd like to have at least a timeout or two down the stretch. You operated well without it, but it was a concern at all when you had to take it at 622 left? Um, I can't really remember why, what happened when we took that timeout. Um, obviously, you'd like to have a, a timeout or two in the two-minute drill, but you know, I think we executed pretty well. You Guys, took a timeout two, with uh, – excuse me, excuse me, one or two more with Joe, and then we're going to keep it rolling. You, you, you know, I took a timeout. It was third and two. You came out in triple tights. You called a timeout, and then you came with three wides and went deep to AJ. Any, did you see anything in particular that made you want to take a shot? Um, I, you know, Zach called that timeout. It was just a bad look for the play that we were in. Um, so we got to empty, and, and he made a great call. And I just got to I gotta finish that play. If, we, if I finish that play, we win the game. Um, it's pretty simple. The deep ball you had to John Ross, that was a hell of a throw. I mean, that ball looked pretty pretty good. Do you have any idea what, what took place on the other end of things there? Uh, other, other end of, of what? John I mean, not it, making the play. It didn't, it didn't look like it was overthrown. It looked like, I don't know if he didn't find the football. Did he ever did he ever say anything to you about, you know, did he say, hey, the ball was where I wanted it or anything like that? Or did, did was there any communication there? Um, no, not really. Um, I mean, the way I see it, I overthrew him. I got to put it on his chest. You know, we'll watch the film and see what see what happened. But I just got to make a better throw.